a resume new recording because quite often in this uh, pre discussion we, we may say things which are relevant to other students and if you will dis de decide we will put them uh, online as well okay so any question any comment about today lecture or anything or your homework or so whatever i you wanted to ask about today lecture okay uh, like a more like clarification about the matching conditions we we need to meet in order to apply all the algorithms we learned today like uh, whether it's need to be convex whether it's not or i, I didn't uh, really you, you, fully you understood saw you saw the formal requirement. This is a, a so-called strictly unimodal, but it's formal requirement. What is what happens in practice? You you if it's even not unimodal, you will find some lo lo local minimum. Uh, minimum. So we. we so someone we don't to tell us that we have the local. Let, let me finish one more sentence. In our course, we don't learn global optimization so if, if you have multiple local minima in one dimension or in many di dimensions this is very special and very important area but it's uh, out of scope of our course so our course is to find the global minimum of convex function or some uh, local minimum of non-convex function yes i'm with you Okay. Okay. Any so other? someone actually needs to tell us that we have a local minima in our range. If we if we don't know if it's a whether convex or not. Uh, in practice, those algorithms will uh, converge to some local minimum. And uh, how do you know that you are in local minimum? For example, if your function is smooth, then you just see that derivative uh, is be becoming small and when you moving left and right you're only increasing your functions and then you know that you achieve local minimum okay thank you please uh, you 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 know let, let me do one more experience i i want really to pause my rig for other students so uh, I, I I have this uh, external function phi, yes. Uh, okay, M maybe it was function of three variables, yes. So uh, what I would do, I I would first test uh, gradient of phi. To write down gradient of phi and check myself whether my gradient has no mistakes. Okay. And if I am sure in this, then I will plug it into common formula, into original formula, and we'll be sure. Maybe, yes, maybe we, we had to have a little bit more discussion. The, the, there is a simple methodics. How do you do it? If, if you have uh, some parts, uh, some functions which looks for you complicated, you write down the derivatives, the se se second derivative, and first you do a prog uh, program block which implements everything and test this block that everything is okay. And you can test it with uh, numerical derivatives. Would you agree that this may be yes, yes, this is what more I reliable? Yes. Yeah, I agree. This is, this is, the, this is the way to, to go. Maybe we we expected that you 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 will discover this way to work systematically, and maybe next year, maybe next year we should recommend students to to do it in this way. Michael, can I add a recommendation? Yes. I think in next year in the homework, uh, there should be like um, some expected results for some vectors. So we can uh, check ourselves on the analytical uh, part. 
and therefore we don't have some uh, mistakes in the future of the homework. Just a second. The, the whole point is to, to give you a me mechanism to check yourself. No, yeah. What, what I mean that we firstly wrote the analytical uh, gradient function. Yes, and right? you, and and you do it. And normally you do it with mistake. Yes. It's uh, yeah, so, in, in my experience, then, uh, ju just one word. In my experience, mm -hmm. there is a probability in practice, like 99%. To do some small mistake when you write gradient and question. Of course, but there is another percent to do a mistakes in building the numeric uh, uh, derivation, right? Yes. So if you the have mistake in both of them, differentiation. Yeah. 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 So, so if you have mistake in both of them, you don't know really where you your mistake is. So you where you, is your you, mistake? You should work. You, you say that you should work systematically. And you say that uh, undergraduate stu stu students are not mature enough yet, so they 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 need uh, to uh, well, what is to be Michael, instructed think, to be instructed how to do it in a systematic way. I think what he means, uh, Michael, that you, you can give some uh, matrix, not random matrix, but some matrix and some text, and give the the numerical results. What like a specific one but uh, the, the the whole point is that you 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 come with, and everything is black box for for, for you maybe uh, maybe we, we should recommend invent yourself or give yourself or we may give you a very simple example yes and check whether numerical uh, derivative is working i i, I understand the the the, the point Maybe we should discuss it. You know that we have a, a group, a special group on WhatsApp, uh, some special uh, improvement of our of optimization course or something like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe after you will submit this homework, maybe it's a good point to start the, the, the discussion. It's, it's, it's important. And to bring your, your examples, which really require uh, more time and let together to think not, not that I provide you something you should provide yourself with something very simple yes and uh, check also, yourself Michael, about, about quizzes about quizzes uh, I yeah. know that there were courses that I did uh, that had in Moodle uh, a quiz before the instead of you know doing it in, uh, in, uh, in the class